In today's video, I'm showing you how to make pants on Roblox. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, make sure you go and leave a like. I really do appreciate it and it gets us viewers to more people. And subscribing means you're kept up to date with all the latest tutorials. So of course, I'm actually showing you how to make pants or trousers in this video if you're in the UK. And it's honestly a really simple process with the help of this video. So I recommend you watch the whole thing so you know all the steps you're gonna need to know to go and create an awesome pair of pants. So all you wanna do is come to roblox.com of course and sign into your account. And um, we can go straight into this. Now the first thing I wanna quickly note is you need to come to the create section, okay? So you wanna come and click create on the top bar of Roblox. Now some people are going to get a different message to what I'm getting basically. It's going to say something like start creating and if you have that I'll try and put it what it looks like on the screen right now. What you want to do is click manage my games and it's going to take you to the, this page here basically. It lists all your games but do not worry I'll be showing you the next stage literally right now. So you want to come down to this list on the left hand side and simply come down you've got shirts, t-shirts and then you've got pants. So I've made a tutorial on how to create shirts and t-shirts so I'm making a pants tutorial now. So click on pants and then you're going to come here. Now, what you want to do is actually go and download this template. Do not worry, I'm going over all of the steps you need to know to then go and edit this and make it really cool and make yourself look really, really awesome. But I want a quick note before we get any further to actually go and create pants and just wear pants, you do need Roblox Premium. However, you could still create pants and then just save them for when you do get premium. So yeah, basically just to upload them is going to require the premium but you can still edit them and create them before you get premium. So yeah, let's go and get into this now. So what you want to do is go and click on the template which says uh, download it here and then it's going to open this new page and as you can see, it literally takes you right here. Once you get this, what you want to do is right click on it and then click save image as. So I'm going to click here, it's going to open up a folder and you need to choose where you want to save it. So as you can see, I'm now choosing where to go and save my template. So I've saved it in just a Roblox uh, folder I've got, so I'm going to go and click save and then it's going to come down to your downloads bar as well. So the next thing is we're going to have to go and actually edit this. You're probably wondering, I'm going to have to pay. No, you don't. Don't worry, there are so many free editing softwares out there and they're all online, which is really, really simple. So the software I'm going to use in this video is called Photop, but there are so many alternatives like Pixlr and there are a few others out there. So sort of test which works best, but in this tutorial, I am using Photop. So I'm going to go and Google it just like so. And then you want to come to photop.com. And as you can see, um, it's really, it's a great software, honestly. It's like Photoshop, but it's free. You wanna come to file and go and click open. And it's gonna open up your file. So I'll have to blur this because it's got some personal stuff on it. Um, I'm gonna open up my Roblox folder. As you can see, templates.png. I'm gonna click there and it's gonna open it up. And once it is open, then you wanna come down to the bottom right. Now, as you can see, this is the background and you wanna keep it as the background. You wanna come and click on this sort of new paper icon and it's gonna say new layer, click there. And as you can see, we can now go and start using this new layer. Essentially, if you make a mistake on a layer, it's way easier to fix and if you draw straight, straight on the background. So I recommend just always drawing in layers and not on the background. So once you've gone and made a new layer, we can literally go and start drawing, editing, and doing anything you want. So I'm gonna go and first grab this tool here, which is like a selector tool, and it basically allows you to create squares. So I've gone and selected it, and then you're gonna have this cross on your computer, which is your cursor, and all you wanna do is go and then drag what you want to draw. So I'm gonna draw on this part here, so I'm gonna do the central part of the right leg, and then draw that out. As you can see, it's now got uh, dashed lines around it. And once you've got that, you can then go and choose the color of what you want to draw. So I'm gonna go for like a sort of a jean color. So I'm gonna go and create like a blue or like a lighter blue, I think, like that. that. Then click OK and it's gone and got the blue there. And you wanna come and click on the brush tool, which is just here. And then you can go and increase the size. And I'm gonna go increase that to like just, I'm gonna go on 400 actually, really big. But with this dashed uh, box, it means you can't draw outside of it. So as you can see, it then just draws it in there, which means you can keep it really tidy and it just doesn't go everywhere. And then to undo the dashed, all you want to do is go and do Control plus D, and then it deselects it. Now I've gone and got that part. I'm going to go and duplicate this by simply right click on it, and then go and click Duplicate Layer, and then you can simply go and edit this. And once you've deselected it, you can then move it around. So what you want to do is make sure you click on the Moving tool here, and then you click on the layer you want to move. So I'm going to move Layer One Copy, and then I can simply drag it just like so. I'm going to drag it onto the left leg because of course I want it to be there, and then make sure you match it where the squares are. Honestly guys, it's really, really easy. And then you can use your arrow keys as well to shift it, just like so, um, and that's really, really simple. So another thing you could do is go and fill in these top ones. So just to add something different, I'm gonna use a different color. So come right down here to the bottom right and click new layer again, 
and then I'm going to go and draw over this. So, so I'm just going to use a different color for this new bit because I just want it to look a bit different uh, just to show you the whole tutorial. So then you go and create the new layer, of course, and go and click the selector tool. I'm going to go and draw right down just like so uh, and drag across and we'll see what we can do with this. Then it's a bit, I'm a bit out, but I can edit that afterwards. So don't worry about that as long as you have the rough square. Then of course, go and click on the pen tool again, which is down here, the brush tool. And I'm gonna change the color. Now I'm not sure what to, I think I might just do like a bit of a lighter blue, you know, just to show you the difference you can create. So I've gone and got this light blue now, and we'll click okay. And then you can draw over this again. As you can see, it just looks a bit different. And then I'm gonna go and click on the moving tool again, the mouse tool, um, and go and click control D to deselect it. And then I'm just gonna move it across a bit just because it's a bit sort of, it was a bit too, um, bit too far to the, right so i've now moved that over and centralized it and make sure you keep watching as well guys i'm about to show you a cool way to shade this really really easily so keep watching for that so now i'm going to go and duplicate this so i can do it on the left leg so come down here uh, right click on it and go and click duplicate and then we can go and drag it across just like so and boom that's literally it and of course you can use other images as well like you could go and add emojis or literally anything you want to go and add more simply click file and then all you wanna do is go and click open and place and then it's gonna place it. To go and add say shaders and stuff, I'll be showing you that literally right now. So if you wanna add shaders and other cool effects like that, there are loads actually just on Google. So come to Google and all you want to do is search something like Roblox shader pants, just like so. And then it's gonna go and bring you all, them all here. So what we wanna do is load it up and then you've got tons here. Now make sure you find a transparent one. A transparent one is, means it's got these little squares here. And if it doesn't have the squares, it means you've got a white background and it's just way more of a pain to go and edit. So once you go and find it, then all you wanna do is right click on it and go and click on save image as, and then go and save it in your folder or just where you, so you know where they are. I'm gonna change the name to shader and go and click save and it's now downloaded. So come back to photo P and then come and click file and open in place. And then I'm gonna go and click on shader. Now, as you can see, it's loaded in and it's all transparent, which is exactly what you want. It means you don't have that annoying white background. Then I'm gonna enlarge it so it fits with the image. Um, so yeah, just be careful when you enlarge it because you could easily sort of um, disproportion it. As you can see, that looks really, really cool. And you can go and change this so it doesn't look as like, uh, I guess as sort of bold. So then you wanna line up a bit more. So I'm gonna line up the legs. As you can see, fits the legs almost perfectly. And then you can go and change it. So I'm gonna lower the opacity, um, just like so. So it, like, it just doesn't look as bold. You can have it all the way to zero and 100 is really bold. So you can just adjust this to, to what you like, I guess. So I don't want it too harsh. I just want it to look real. And then you go, it sort of looks like jeans, right? Um, the bright blue does look a bit too bright, but I just wanted to show you guys what you could do with it. And that's literally it. Um, these are my trousers and I think they look really, really cool. I'm happy with how they have um, I guess come out overall, you know, but personally I've now finished with my design I think I've added a few colors I've added shaders and now I want to go and show you how you can upload it to Roblox To do that we want to do is click file and you want to go and do export Okay, don't you save as you want to do export and export it as a PNG and then you're going to get this pop-up here as you can see you can choose the quality and you want to make sure the width and the height are the same as what we saved it as so i'm pretty sure if we come here i can go and check the dimensions of this so the dimension of this is 589 by 559 so then we need to come back to our export and make sure they're the same perfect that is exactly what you want you need them to be exactly the same so we can then upload it to roblox and go and wear them so then i'm going to go and click save and then it's going to go and download as you can see templates.png then of course we need to come back to roblox so you can close this tab if you've completely finished with it. And also, if you want to edit them in the future, all you want to do is click File and go and click Save as PSD. This means it's still an editable file. Once we've exported it like we did down here, you can no longer use it. So if you want to use it in the future, save it as a PSD, and then you can go and reopen this simply by clicking File, Open, and then Find this PSD, and you can go and use it again. So let's come back to Roblox and go and start uploading this and you're wearing it. So you want to come back to develop Roblox where we exactly were on the create pants section. Then you want to go and click on find your image. So go and find the pants slash jeans or wherever you saved them. So I just uploaded mine. As you can see, templates, I'm going to go and click upload and it's going to start uploading it. Now this is working fine for me because I have premium. Like I said before, premium is required. And as you can see, there we go. We could go and sell these or just wear them ourselves. So we've got options there as well. So you want to click on the settings icon and click configure and then it's going to give us the option here so i could rename this just to like um tutorial pants just like so and i could go and just leave that there and click save and to go and sell it you click sales as well i'll click save 
and you can go and choose if you want to sell it so you could go and turn it on like that and you can choose the price now i want to go and actually check this out so you want to click go to details now as you can see this item is available in your inventory so i'm going to come to inventory and have a look at this um and then i need to come down to pants and there we go tutorial pants they haven't actually loaded in yet but i'm going to click on them and then i'm going to go and click on click on the three dots and click where as you can see it's now been added to my avatar and that is literally it you're now wearing them this will take a while to load just because we just uploaded it and roblox have to review it and make sure it doesn't violate any guidelines or stuff like that so if you did find this tutorial useful subscribe for more and leave a like i've got tons of roblox tutorials coming and there are tons already on the channel so make sure you go and check them out and have an awesome day i'll catch you in the next one peace